All right, everybody, um, we are going to be learning about the different types of reactions. So a few of you guys actually copy these in your notes um, the Monday before the strike, and um, we're going to spend some time kind of talking about each type of reaction and how they work. So for those of you who remember, there are actually five different types of chemical reactions. Uh, the first type is synthesis, the second is decomposition, the third is single replacement, the fourth is double displacement, and the fifth is combustion. So uh, let's start with the first type of reaction, uh, synthesis. So what does the word synthesis actually mean? Um, the word synthesis means to put together, to make, or to create. So when we think about a synthesis reaction, we should think about multiple things coming together to create a single product. Um, this is very similar to things like cooking or baking, where you add a bunch of ingredients and you get a single thing, like a cake, for example. Um, to make a cake, you need to add eggs and flour and milk and sugar and, of course, chocolate, because we've talked about this. We don't make a cake without chocolate. Um, we add those things together, <clears throat> and then we basically get a single product. Uh, in this case, the general formula for synthesis would be A plus B yields AB. So you can see that you have two things here that produce a single product. Uh, don't be fooled. You can actually have more than two reactants. Most cases you will not, but there are situations where you'll have more than two. So it might be like A plus B plus C yields ABC, but same principle. Uh, the example here would be C, which is carbon, plus O2, which is oxygen, yields carbon dioxide right here. And then the diagram shows you kind of in a visual way how that all comes together. So you've got your one carbon atom, you've got your two oxygen atoms, and they come together to produce carbon dioxide. Awesome, right? Sweet. All right, so the next type of reaction we're going to talk about is decomposition. Uh, the word decomposition means to break apart, to decay, or to rot. So you think about like, you know, when something dies, it decomposes. Um, the general formula for a decomposition reaction is the opposite of a synthesis reaction. So instead of making something, we're breaking it apart. So we have AB yields A plus B. So you'll see that you have a single reactant here and you have two products. Again, same deal as last time, you can have more than two products. So the example here would be uh, sodium chloride breaks apart into sodium and chlorine. And again, if you look at the diagram, you'll see that here they're all connected. When you break them apart, the chlorines and the sodium split from each other. next type of reaction we're going to talk about is single replacement. So the word replacement means to substitute or change one thing for another. So if you think about it, it's kind of like trading one partner for another. If you're doing an assignment and you realize that your one partner you're working with isn't doing a very good job, you can trade them for a different partner right, and leave that other person behind. The general formula for single replacement is AB plus C yields AC plus B. So you'll notice that the B and the C here actually switched places. So the C goes where the B was, and the B goes where the C was at the end. Uh, if you look at the example, you'll see zinc here. So zinc, if you mix it with copper chloride, um, actually is able to boot the copper out. And then what you get is you get copper and you get zinc chloride. Kind of cool, right? I think so. And then if you look at the picture, same deal, right? You see the copper and the chlorines are kind of connected to each other and zinc is alone. And because zinc is actually a stronger element, and we're going to kind of talk about this later, but because zinc is a stronger element, it's able to actually boot copper out of its little place here with the chlorines and copper ends up being alone and zinc actually bonds with chlorine. All right, so the next uh, type of reaction we're talking about is double replacement. So the difference between single and double replacement is that double, both elements get a new partner. So you actually get two new compounds. With a single replacement reaction, only one element switches places and the other kind of stays alone. So if you look at the formula here, you'll see we have AB plus CD yields AD plus CB. So the B and the D actually switch places. Okay, so I took the B and put it here, the D put it here. Simple it up. I put two example problems on here for you to look at. So you look at magnesium oxide here plus calcium sulfide. Um, and then if I switch those two, right, we now have magnesium sulfide 
and calcium oxide. Okay, and then that picture is shown below here as well. The last type of reaction we're going to talk about is combustion, which is usually everybody's favorite because it means blowing stuff up. Um, combustion reactions are a hydrocarbon reacting with oxygen gas. Um, it is also called burning. The fire triangle basically indicates that in order to create fire, you need three very specific things. You need a fuel, which for combustion is a hydrocarbon. Things like methane, which is used to heat your home. Uh, oxygen is necessary, and then something to ignite the reaction, so some sort of spark. Um, with a match, you'll be rubbing it against the box. Um, in a, a lot of times in your stove, it would be the little clicking sound that you hear when you turn a gas stove on is basically the spark, and then once the gas comes through and there's oxygen in the air, you'll actually get some fire. Please be careful, though. We don't want anyone to catch on fire. Um, the general formula is CXHY plus O2 is CO2 plus H2O. So again, you have a hydrocarbon plus oxygen, and you're always going to get carbon dioxide and water as your products. Always, always, always. I can't stress enough. I even bolded it for you. I put it in capital letters. You always get these two products. So if you are seeing a reaction with these two products, you can bet that it's combustion. All right? So there's some practice problems here for you to try out. Um, we're going to spend some time going over these. Um, we'll probably go over them as review for the quiz on Thursdays. So you can try them out on your own if you'd like to, and then you can kind of wait it out till Thursday, and I'll give you the answers to these problems. Hope you enjoyed me explaining these types of reactions, and have a wonderful rest of your day.